Alright ladies and gents, this is part 5 of the kitchen and cabinet design. Um, this is going to be an easy one, we're going to go quick because I don't have a lot of time. What we're going to do is we're going to do the backsplash behind the cabinets. Okay, so that way we get a different look. Maybe we can put some kind of tile up there or something. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 2D wireframe. And what I'm going to do, i got to pay attention to, to you know what we're looking at here because we're starting to get pretty complex. So uh, change your view to the right side. Okay. And then orbit back a little bit. And then you're going to take a rectangle. And you're going to click on this corner of the cabinet here or I should say of the uh, countertop type END enter if you're not getting an endpoint there and click and then now that should not be going that way so let's go with uh, dimensions no it's not gonna work either hang on in the right view that should be going this way so let's do this instead let's do a polyline let's click on the end we're gonna go all the way down to the end here we're gonna go up until we hit let's see where can we get a point here this is going to be tough to get um and you know what we'll do we'll jump back over here now these are not even but if we go off of this corner and slide you'll get a little uh intersection there you can then slide across on the green line and let's see how are we going to do this Let's go like this. Let's, uh, since I know that my, I'm, I'm going to click this anywhere and I'm going to take these three lines, one, two, and three. I know that that one is the correct length, but it's just getting too complicated in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out at the predetermined distance of, let's just say 20 feet. And now I know that this corner is good. So I'll draw up from there and I'll do a fillet radius zero okay and then I'll take these and I'll join them together and then I will extrude those by one fourth okay so now now I need to make sure that I know that this is going in the correct direction I want this to go forward so when I do this I really do want to be zoomed in and make sure that I'm going forward like that okay this can then move back it 3D modeling is a lot of building things outside and moving it in because it's just it gets very complicated when you're working on something that has so many lines like this. All right, so 20 feet back, right? And now we have a box where we want it, okay? So now going back to uh, conceptual, you'll see that I have a box in the front here. I want to go to my visualize. I want to go to uh, material browser, and I want to find some kind of tile. Drop these down. Let's see. We should have... Stucco is not what we want. We want some kind of tile. Fabric, ceramic. How about that? Tile. All right, so how about this one right here, these one-inch squares? If you drop that on there, you're not going to see it unless you're on realistic, and we get something like that. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Um, all right, back to 2D wireframe. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, you could get crazy, and you could creep this up next to the window and stuff, but I'm not going to go like that. I'm just going to do another box. Um, so again, this is going to be a little bit easier because if I just click on this corner, actually I'm going to click on this one, and I draw this out to here, E and D enter. I'm going to have to change my view to do that. So let's go to the front view, orbit. Okay. I'm going to do, you don't have to do a polyline, you could do a line too for this one. Um, e and D enter. Get that one, slide this all the way out until we get to this point. And then I'm going to take this and this again, and I'm going to move these back out. So let's go 20 feet. Okay, so now I know how long this has to be. I'm going to come off of here, going this way. Now the window is going to be there, so we're going to have to cut that out of where the window is. But let's just put this here for now. Um, click this out a little bit too far draw this up trim the end off okay and then take one two three we're gonna have to close the left side right there and right there and we also want this to come forward join four to one take this move 
this way. Sorry. Extrude. <laughs> it's a little early still. Extrude. And now I want to make sure this goes forward. So I'm looking at the original. One fourth. That did go forward. So that's good. Okay. So now if we move these back. Here, let's do conceptual first. Um, and let's do... I'm doing conceptual because my frame rate keeps dropping on this computer for some reason. So when we go to material browser, we have our tile that we want. We're going to click on that. We'll go to realistic to make sure that it popped up the way we want it. We're going to move this back in by 20 feet. Okay. Back to 2D wireframe. You'll see that it's going over the window. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to create a box here. Let's just show this view for real quick. See how it's covering the bottom of the window. We need to draw a little box here and subtract that from the tile. Okay. So this one's going to be a little bit more complicated because we need to kind of wrap our head around what we've got here. Although if we just put a line here, E and D enter, and we put a line here, and now again, we move these out. We don't have to move the other one, but just move this. I'm going to move that 20 feet. I now know the position of the window. So if I go align E and D enter, I'm going to go across however far E and D enter. Now the reason why you have to do this E and D enter stuff is because this is extruded forward and these lines are on the back part of that. So it's trying to, it's not able to reach through a 3D model to the endpoint sometimes. So you'll have to force it to look for that endpoint, which is the only endpoint in that area. And then trim this, take these four, join them together, take this, and where's my screen recording? Ah, okay, good. Um, take this, again, make sure that it extrudes forward. Now, this can go any distance, but I'm just going to do one fourth anyways, just because I know the thickness of this other one. We're going to do a subtract from the main part, enter, small part, enter. So we get something like that. Then we're going to move this back in. Now, I didn't do trim around the window. If I did do trim around the window, this box would have changed a little bit, but I kind of like the way the window looks uh, just clean without the trim. You could, you know, use the same trim idea that I did in the last video if you want to go around that window. It's just that your profile is going to be a lot thinner. It's not going to be as thick as what I put on top of the cabinets. I just like the look of, like, cabinets coming up and then this trim kind of coming out on top of the cabinets. All right. So we're going to move this back 20 feet. And let's see what that looks like. Conceptual. All right. So now we're not blocking the window. And where did that one go? Hang on. Let's back up. Did I type my wrong number? 20 feet. There we go. I must have had 200 or something. All right. Realistic. That looks pretty good. All right. Let's go to the camera and see what that looks like. Type view. Drop down model views. Double click camera. Hit apply. Hit OK. So that looks pretty cool. Um, but again, like I said, you could go all the way up the sides if you want. You know, that's up to you. Um, let's see, we're about eight minutes in. Let's try to do a, I want to do an island in the middle and that's where I'm going to put my stove. Okay. So back to 2D wireframe. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to move these walls out of the way. Okay. These walls are kind of in the way right now. So move, I'm going to move this out about 25 feet and then I'm going to start building an island in here using, um, probably 24 inch cabinets, two of them on one side, two of them on the other. So. I want to find my 24, which is probably this and that and the handle for that one. Okay. And then I'm going to copy and paste that way out here. Now on the top view, let's see, which one was that? That must be this one. Let's move this away from the walls. This can go anywhere. It really doesn't matter. This is going to get rotated this way. I'm going to take this and mirror it because I want the handles to be next to each other. Erase the source, no. And then I'm going to take these and mirror them over the back part. And now those look pretty big. Let's see if that's going to actually fit in the room. Erase the source, no. Because when we go to put a countertop on that too, that's a pretty big box. So let's just get an idea of what this is going to look like by moving this in, pick a bottom corner. Um, you know, before we do that, let's draw some lines. I like the look of bringing this bottom line out. 
and bringing this one out, extending them to each other. You can trim it, you know, if you need to, it doesn't really matter. We just want this intersection right here. And now let's take this and move that from this bottom corner to that bottom corner. So that's actually not too bad. Um, that's not where I want it though, because you can see if I go to my camera, Uh, it doesn't look terrible, but I want to know what this distance is. I want to leave about three to four feet here and about three to four feet there. Okay, so I'm probably going to end up putting my stove right in the middle of this over here in a future video. Um, but I want to see, let's get rid of these lines. And I want to see if I can, now remember this is four inches here. And I want to go about, let's say three feet four. Okay, so that means that these, don't forget to grab the handles and all that stuff, but don't accidentally grab the camera. You can see actually I adjusted my camera too, if you guys are wondering why the view looked a little bit different. Um, this is going to slide and go there. We'll get rid of this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the far side. I'm going to go about three feet four, and then I'm going to go this way and just click, okay, and get rid of this line. So now when I go to shuffle that over, don't forget the handles, move. I should be able to get an intersection here. And now this is this side actually has that four inch toe kick. So we're actually less than three feet right now. So I'm gonna move that back for a second. I'm gonna move this line four more inches because this side has a toe kick on both sides. Whereas the side over here only had it on the one side, okay? So moving it back this way, we're going to go four more inches. And then we're going to go ahead and select everything, although we don't want the camera. Now we keep getting that camera. All right, so we got two, four handles, four doors. Don't want the line. Anytime you select something that you don't want, hold shift and then click it again, and then it'll deselect it. Move, grab it from the bottom corner and click down like that and get rid of the line. And then let's go back to our view double click the camera hit apply hit OK so that looks pretty good I like that um, now you could leave four feet too and I'm thinking I might want to leave four feet because that's not a whole lot of space there especially when you have the overhang of the countertop um, this is a nice big I'm gonna I'm probably gonna leave an overhang on this side and put some chairs or something too but and also these don't have to be um, 24 inches deep so they could be 12 inches deep. So if I want to take these and move these and make them 24, you can do that as well. Okay. Um, so here, let's grab these again. Let's grab everything. Let's include the handles and then let's get rid of the camera. And I'm going to move this six more inches this way. Let's see. Oh, I missed one. Let's try that again. Two cabinets, four cabinets two doors, two handles, door, door, handle, handle, move, six inches. You could group those. I must have missed this one again. Dang. This way, six. Okay. Now, again, I want to move these to the right six inches. Six. Okay, now the countertop, um, you're going to do a rectangle. We're still in the top view, so this should work. We're going to go from here to here. We're going to grab that rectangle. On this side, we're going to go out about 10, or let's make it 12. 12 is nice. Um, on this side, we're going to go out one, grab these midpoints. On this side on the green line, we'll go out one, and on that side, staying on the green line, we'll go out one. And that's going to get extruded up. I think we did... Let's see what one inch looks like. I don't know if that was one inch. It might have been an inch and a half. Here's a way to find out. Put a line right there. Grab the line. Right click properties. That's a two inch line. So I should have extruded that one more inch. So it's still fixable because if I click on this and I go on this arrow here, I can go one enter. Okay, so now we're at two inches. So going back to conceptual you'll see that we have a countertop maybe we'll put three chairs here because technically this is four feet i gotta really do the math on that and see if you could fit three chairs but it's not bad um i like it i like the way that it looks we'll have a little stove over here somewhere at some point and let's go to realistic just to get a final view of what this looks like uh you could union the two countertops to get the material on there 
or you could go back and try to find the one that we used. You know what, you could also do this if you don't know what's on it. Click on this, right click properties, and you'll see that it has just black on it, okay? So I'm gonna union them instead. I don't really feel like finding that. And that should, that should have put the same material on there, but that's odd. Okay, so undo the union, there's no point in doing that. There's black like that, okay? So let's move our room back for the end of this video. That's gonna go back 25 feet. Let's go to view, double click camera, apply, okay. And then I just wanna do a quick render and see what this is coming out like. Um, actually, I'm not going to, cause I'm gonna get a frame rate drop. But basically you can start seeing that this is looking pretty good, okay? Um, I, you know, I definitely like the backsplash too. Maybe you want your walls a different color. Maybe you want them like a color that stands out, totally up to you. Um, but we're, we're moving along here. This kitchen's starting to come along. All right. So I appreciate you guys listening. This was part five, I hope, okay, of kitchen and, uh, and cabinet design. Um, you know, it's, come, it's starting to come together. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. All right. See you in the next one. Get, get some more.